Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary. Um, normally, I would be starting the credit roll, so I could show you guys who made this game. But apparently, um, Halo The Master Chief Collection removed the credit rolls from, uh, the end of each game. That is not ideal. It just brought me back to the main menu. Uh... Apparently there's a credits thing you can select somewhere that just shows you... It just, like, opens up a browser and shows you a website. But, uh... Oh, for a moment there I thought the, uh, the pelican was blinking in, uh... Relation to which command I had selected. But yeah, we're not going to see the credits, which means we don't get to see the post credits scene. That's unfortunate. It's really, really quick. It just shows, like, among the wreckage of Halo, it shows 343 Guilty Spark completely intact, just floating along. He can't go FTL, but he's still alive. Um, let me see. There was also a, uh, an extra scene, if you beat the game on Legendary, where, uh... Hey, sorry about that. Uh, I was starting to say, yes, there's a, a scene, an extra scene that plays on Legendary difficulty. I think it goes right after the bit with, uh, all the Flood walking towards the ship. Uh... And it shows Sergeant Johnson wrestling with an Elite over an assault rifle. So I guess that specific one is dishonorable, but whatever. Um, and then they see uh, way off in the distance, the Pillar of Autumn starts to blow, and they both realize, oh. And Johnson just drops the gun and turns to the Elite and says, This is it, baby. Hold me. And they hug. <laughs> and then right before the shockwave hits them, the Elite grabs Johnson's ass, and he looks surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah, unless you're playing on the anniversary version, apparently, in which case Johnson grabs the elite's ass and he looks surprised. Oh boy. There was some unfinished business, even if I can't show you the uh, the good stuff, like here, for example. I think it was there. I mean, that's the right room. Yes, it was this level, and you've already got the, uh, index. It was never really clear what happened there. Somehow Cortana turns it into a digital object and absorbs it into her own code. Hmm. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential factor. Is something wrong? No. Not really. Splendid. Shall we? Look there we out. go. Skip. Uh. Just need these guys to be dead. I read that for some reason there is a, uh... A visual glitch with the specific plasma pistol used by the Thirsty Grunt. If you charge up the shot, the big energy ball doesn't appear, just the sparks. Okay, you're dead. Now let me see, apparently... The terminal in this Before level the is on the left. Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. Aha! According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation well, on a large rude. scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant oh, God damn it, and see Cortana. if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. Ooh. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. Alright, I admit it, I like the fancier one.
25,000 light years. That is the effective range of this installation. According to the star charts archived on board this installation, I estimate that there are 3,792 worlds capable of sustaining biological sentient life within that 25,000 light year range. In reality, it may be significantly more than that. And if the full array was tuned and activated by installation 00, the harmonics of the overlapping waves would magnify that effect exponentially, cascading to cover every known star system. And that only considers the firing of a mere seven halos. And the original 12 rings survived to see use. Sterilization would spread far further than most forerunners ever feared we could reach. But even with just seven rings, we were able to destroy every side of the planet. And every other sentient creature along with it. This victory was the will of our people, despite the fact that it meant our own end as well. But by our empiric measurement, it was a victory and cleared the stage for the rest of the librarian's plan. I sometimes wonder whether the didact could have succeeded at a much smaller cost. I know the folly of opposing him personally, and his brilliance was unsurpassed, except perhaps by her own. He never got the chance to fully execute his proposal. The Council saw to that. But if something were to go wrong with one of the Halos, if our tools were ever turned against us... Long plans, indeed. That was Achieve and Unlock Memories. Hmm. That reminds me, what are all those achievements I got at the very end there? Yeah, one like this. Oh. No credits. And I just got a shitload of achievements. Let's see, today's date is the 19th, he said, dating the video, so... Come on now. There's one! Get memories. Uh... Birth of a Spartan. Halo Combat Evolved. Complete every level of the game on normal difficulty. Thirsty Grunt. Before and after. Complete every level of the game having seen it in both classic and remastered mode. Nice. Uh, Greenhorn, Combat Evolved, complete every level of the game on easy difficulty. Oh yes, they're very generous about that. They give you the ones that uh, are for lower difficulties when you beat them. So if I'd beaten it on Heroic, I would have gotten that and uh, normal and easy. Oops, let's see here. Um, do we even like, stack them together? Oh, Halo, Halo Combat Evolved, uh, let's see, beat the par, oh, these are beat the par time, okay, and I was really, really handling, uh, all of that babbling and talking and, you know, doing a let's play, beat the par score, oh, sick, I think I might actually have missed that, I'm sorry? Find and claim the mal malfunction skull. Oh, do I have to find and collect them first? I didn't find a single one! <laughs> oh, jeez. My bad. Oh yeah, believe in a hero, like that thing I uh, brought up. Overshields are for sissies. Complete the level the Pillar of Autumn on Legendary without picking up an overshield. Walk it off. Complete the Pillar of Autumn on Legendary without picking up a health kit. Now, Pedestrian. Complete Halo. That's the second level. Without entering a vehicle. Uh, that just happened. Complete the Library on Heroic or Legendary without dying. Look out for the little guys. Complete two Betrayals on Legendary without killing any grunts. Uh, leave it where it lay. Halo Combat Evolved. Complete two Betrayals on Legendary without picking up a new weapon. So... 
Oh, that's shitty. One of the weapons you... I was just there. One of the weapons you start with is a, uh, a plasma pistol. You can't get more ammo for it. Uh, tying up loose ends. Kill every elite in the level keys on heroic or legendary difficulty. That's funny. Oh, drat. I forgot that. Yeah. Uh, the pipe. Disapprovingly look at Captain Key's abandoned pipe. It's sticking out of the back of the proto grave mind. T Rex, find the hidden Rex sign on the Maw. Hey, the Meg! Halo CE, it's a sign. Halo, get me out of here, ride in a pelican for several seconds on a level 343 guilty spark. I don't know how you would do that. Feet firmly planted, complete any level without jumping. Complete any co op level. Standard operating procedure. Brover shield, heroic difficulty. He's unstoppable. Collect any level on heroic difficulty without taking health, or heroic or higher without taking any health damage. Sweet Jesus, goat roped. Oops, it's getting the Halo 2 stuff just there. So, uh, complete all Halo CE legendary campaign missions in under three hours. It's funny. I thought there was one called This End Up for beating the the Maw without flipping the Warthog. Oh well. There was another one other one, I think. The very first one. Did I find it here? I can't remember. I'll just uh, skip to the part where I get to the bridge. Actually, let's play it on easy so we can see the... Uh, you know, what the, uh, the, the, the speech there is. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Very straightforward and uh, simple. Hey, check it out! I'm in the very first room in the game. He's waiting for me to do the energy shield test, and I found a fucking skull! I didn't even look that up! Huh. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Well, I found one. That's better than f uh, missing all of them. Okay, we're on the bridge. And I put it on old graphics because I just wanted to show off what Cortana used to look like. Real bad case of mitten hands. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the autumn. Gasp! That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? Okay. In a matter of speaking, uh, the object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones. There was, uh... Lace, I like the effect. The visual effect on Cortana appears in the old graphics. That one, right there. In the new graphics, she just kind of pops into existence, and I don't like that as much. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. I distinctly remember that when I played Anniversary luck, on the Xbox 360... It, uh, featured something odd. 
that uh, uh don't keep it loaded yes thank son. you you'll have to find ammo as you go that uh Well, Cortana had, like, individually defined fingers, unlike her original model, but she still animated her whole arm for gestures, and it was even worse because those fingers were slightly spread. Uh, let me see. Oh, right. Aha! Incoming message. So that'll be the terminal. Uh, but I did want to say, yeah... I distinctly noted during this gameplay that there seemed to be actual hand animation, so I guess they went back in we later and fixed it. We need to get off the ship before it's completely overrun by Covenant. Made it look way smoother. All right, I'll just do this. Hell yeah! End at the beginning. Warning. By order of Ecumen Council, proximity to Installation Zero Four is forbidden. Your continued presence will result in most unpleasant countermeasures. I must insist that you immediately change course and return to a minimum safe distance of one light year. This has served as your one and final warning. Um. I have activated defensive systems, and you now have 30 seconds to return to the minimum safe distance of. Wait. Curious. Curious indeed, after all these years. Greetings, humans, and welcome to Installation 04. Ignore prior warnings, and please continue. I have disabled defensive systems to allow your approach, but you must not exit your ship once you have arrived at the designated landing center. This reef contains significant dangers, and even with your assumed legacy, I must verify the presence and pitch of your gauge before allowing full access. We have much to discuss, humans. I have been away far too long. You have been away far too long. Hmm. And no one's at this station, so we never got that message. God damn! That's kind of awesome. It does explain a lot, though. You know what? Uh, what the hell? Let's get the full set on. <laughs> of uh, those com those uh, speeches, I mean. Man, here's where we show those split chin squid head sons of bitches that they could not have picked a worse enemy than the human race. We are going to blow the hell out of those dumb bugs until we don't have anything left to shoot them with. And then we are going to strangle them with their own living guts. Am I right, Marie? Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. Attention all personnel. We are hmm. engaging the enemy. External and internal. Neat. Well. Now we've got that taken care of. Let me see. Oh yeah, just getting started, nice. Let me see. Uh, there it is. Activate Terminal 1, and then should we just below this? Dear Diary, activate all Halo Combat Evolved Terminals and Skull Taker Halo Combat Evolved Iron. Combat Evolved. Find and claim the Iron Skull in Remastered mode. So I guess there must be one on every level, huh? Well, I can't really go into the achievements I didn't get too far without, uh, well, you know, revealing everything. But, uh, are the sequels? I wonder if it's in here. Hey! Oh, no, that is just an external link. And that kind of sucks. Hey, you know what? What the fuck? Just in case things weren't silly enough, I just wanted you to know that the credits link inside uh, the Master Chief Collection doesn't even work anymore. Ooh, boy. Okay, so, um... I was trying to think. There was a story I wanted to tell you guys. I just thought it would be easier to tell you during the credits. But, um... That cutscene at the end where the Chief runs onto the ship 
and gets away. That was, uh... That's one of those cutscenes where only one of the co-op players actually needs to reach the trigger point. I remember once, I made it almost all the way up the ramp, but got caught on some flood that were standing there, and my brother ran past me. <laughs> Which means in the last cutscene, there's clearly still a Spartan standing on the, on the boarding ramp as the ship flies away. <laughs> so I would uh, bring it up for years that you abandoned me to die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I got away this time. I also wanted to do one final shout-out to Shadow Operator. There, let's change the music over. That's better. Shadow Operator wanted to know what my future plans for the series are. So, uh, since I guess I wasn't uh, clear enough on that, let me be very specific. I... Uh, this went really well. Both as a let's... as a standard let's play, and as, like, the first real experiment I've done in, uh, doing a let's play that definitely isn't blind. So, uh... Yes! Absolutely! I will be continuing to Halo 2, Halo 3, and the rest of the Master Chief Collection. And at some point, you know, uh... If I can get it running on my rig, and I don't think that I won't, I'm just saying, you know, uh, technical issues notwithstanding, I will absolutely do a Let's Play of Halo Infinite one day, and I hope to do it blind. Knock on wood. But, um, yeah. I'll be proceeding to the rest of the franchise, and yes, it's true that Halo 5 Guardians never came out on PC, but I'm kind of hoping that someone does put it out, uh, in between now and the time I finish Halo 4. <laughs> Which, fortunately, air quotes, uh, won't be for a while yet, so they've got plenty of time to figure it out. Get that game on PC. I wonder if they'd add it to the Master Chief Collection or make it a standalone or what. I don't know. In any event, I would love to play it, and I would love to share that experience with you guys. I will say, I think it's a dick move not to include, uh... You know, the credits for each game. I saw someone online saying that they thought it was because, uh... Well, they thought it was, uh, because there wasn't enough room on the original, uh, X-Bone disc when they did the Master Chief Collection. Which didn't even have Reach or ODST in it at that point. In fact, they couldn't even fit the full thing on the disc. Even if you bought it brand new, uh, the Halo 4 multiplayer was a download. Hmm. But, um... Yeah, I just don't like the way that the majority of the games in this, uh... collection are based on the work of Bungie uh, Studios, but their name isn't anywhere on this product. You know, just 343 Industries. And they currently own the IP, that's fair, but I really feel like Bungie should be credited for their work on the Halo games they've already made. So, you know, dick move. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> to Bungie. You have my sympathies. But, um... What are the fucking playlists? Oh yes, uh, Legendary All Skulls On is what Lasso stands for. Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, I guess it's themed, huh? Daring Escapes. Get out, destroy, get out, win. Daring Escapes. Okay, yeah, Pillar of Autumn, Truth and Reconciliation, and the Maw. That kind of makes sense. Uh, the Flood themed levels. Uh, Guilty Spark in the Swamp, the Library. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Easy campaign. Oh, it's just, it's, oh, these are just straight up the campaign on these difficulties. Sure. Sure. Vehicle playground, though. Halo, that makes sense. Sonic Cartographer, absolutely. And that's the one with the tanks, so certainly. Okay. Um. What do they mean? Oh, no, no, I'm just, I'm being stupid. That's just pick the level, yes. Ha. 
Ahem. I was just in there. Sorry about that. I uh, just wanted to say... It does feel weird to do this without a credit roll. But I think it's time to sign off. I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, the Master Chief, Cortana, Sergeant Avery Johnson, and all of those sacrificed heroes who saved us along the way and helped us, including but definitely not limited to the late Captain Jacob Keyes and the late Lieutenant Carol Foehammer Raleigh. Pour one out. I'll also tell you this, uh... Halo 2 begins a while after the Chief makes it back to Earth. So if you want to know how that happened, and you want to know how Johnson survived, I'll uh, tell you that you can find all that information in the novel Halo First Strike by Eric Nylund, I believe. I'll give you a hint, a little crumb. The reason Cortana didn't detect anyone else in the Dust and Echoes scene is because a single pelican filled with a handful of survivors, including Sergeant Johnson, was hidden on the other side of a big chunk of wreckage at the time, and her scanners couldn't reach there through all of the debris and radiation. But how did they get there? Well, you'll just have to look it up to find out. So yes! I hope you've enjoyed coming with me along this journey as much as I've enjoyed taking you on it. I hope you'll join me when I proceed to Halo 2. And I hope you'll join me for whatever my next the Let's Play series is. Thank you for joining me for Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Till next time, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!